Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today to do One Piece Chapter 720 a review. So, before I get started with the actual chapter stuff, because this chapter had a lot of things going for it, a lot of things. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people are somewhat, to say the least, somewhat disappointed about the backstory of Bartolomeo. Because all of the Sabo, he could be Sabo, he could be Sabo. His face was deformed when he was hit by the cannon and he became this guy. No, 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 no. It was far more simple than that. And it wasn't nearly as convoluted as people made it out to be. However, before I get more in depth with that and the entire chapter, go check out my man Bushido Spirit. In this case, Bushido Spirit Returns. Now his channel got taken down and he made a new channel. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the link in the description box down below. If you guys don't know him, check him out. Uh, on his channel right now, he has a lot of etchy like hentai stuff going on. And I mean, I mean that's what he does. But he also, on his past channel, he's done One Piece stuff and Nar and uh, yeah, Naruto stuff. So, and Toriko stuff. So go check him out. I'm pretty sure that he's going to keep on doing that. But I'm going to support him because he supported me and he continues to support me. And I understand because I've gotten a channel taken down and it's very discouraging to start your way uh, from the bottom once again. And because of that, it's only right for me to support someone like him when he's on his grind, when he's on his mega grind. Like not on some like Uncle Ming status grind, but on some mega super grind. When you get your shit taken down and you need to come back up. So, of course, men had to do that too, but, but you know, that, that's a different story. So, that being said, that being said, check them out. Once again, the link is in the description box down below. Now, One Piece, chapter 720 review. This week's chapter. Well, I actually, when, when I think about it, it's somewhat simple, to be honest, because it actually focuses all on the end of Block C, and now Block D is uh, going to take place in 15 minutes, but they need a new ring. They're going to they're gonna get a new ring, because, you know, Chin Zhao, he fell in there, the ring split in two. But let me talk about the main point of the chapter, okay? Obviously, like, there was a whole combat scene between Cavendish and Luffy, and... In comes Chin Jiao. Now, before I get to the whole entire Bartolomeo, the, the uh, Bartolomeo stuff, in comes Chin Jiao, okay? And Chin Jiao, he's being carried by Sai and the other guy. I think his name is Bo. And basically, Sai tells Luffy, my, my, my grandpa wants to talk with you. And then Chin Jiao, he wants to apologize. But of course, when he does that, he bends his head. His head hits the ground, split. And like, I, I don't know what's with this cone. Like, every time he does something, like, that's his gag, apparently. He just goes like this, and then shit just starts splitting in half. But here's my point. At the end of that, see, his apology, he wanted to tell him that, or at least he, 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 he thinks to himself, because you returned my head to the way it was before Garp did me in, that anger I had with Garp is no longer there. And in order to thank you, I want to put my son's Hapo Navy under your command. Whoa. Whoa. Hapo Navy. What? Dude. That's crazy. That means that at some point, Luffy may make the Kano Kuni into like one of his island territories. I'm just saying. Like, that's crazy. That's insane. What the fuck is up with that? I mean, here's the point. This would be a good... Kano Kun needs to be a good place to visit in the future of the story. I believe that wholeheartedly now. And... The point is also for the end of the series. For the end of the series. Because remember how Whitebeard had all those ships underneath him? Luffy may need a fleet of other pirates alongside with him, aside, aside from his own crew. And... Hapo Navy would be a huge asset. Especially with Chin Jiao leading the four from that Hapo Navy. That'd be hot. The retired 12th Division commander of the Hapo... Well, no. The retired 12th uh, commander of the Hapo Navy. Not, not division. He's the entire commander. 
he may just come back to the forefront. And, you know, he may say, Sai, you need more training. So if there's another time skip, we, 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 or maybe Sai comes out and he leads the Navy himself with more training after, if there's, if there's another time skip. But either way, it, it's still very, very cool. I was surprised. I was happy. I was like, yeah, there we go. Our poor Navy. So that's number one. Number two. My man Blackbeard. Ah, you and the music. Dun, 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 dun. That's right. My man Blackbeard. Come in. Let me, well, first of all, we didn't see him. But we have, after Luffy runs away, okay, uh, from the whole situation, because Cavendish is like trying to mess with him. Chin Jow's like, come on, headbutt. And Luffy, Luffy's thinking that he's being attacked on all, on, 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 on all fronts here. He, they, we have Rebecca Lee Luffy into like this area where the, uh, like not the guests go to, like because there's they're the main fighters from the Coliseum itself, and like they're the guest fighters, like uh, if, of course Chin Zhao and um, Sai and the Funk Brothers, all those guys, Ideo, they're all guest uh, combatants in the Coliseum, but the actual combatants, they they have this area to themselves. Or in this case, the what are they call the um, like they are the prisoners, like like yeah, like the gladiator prisoners. But before then, we see my boy Burgess. Burgess, yeah, Burgess. He's sitting down. He's talking, and apparently he's talking to Blackbeard about freaking Aokiji and Shiryu. How do those two mix? What the fuck is going? What is Aokiji doing? Exactly. The last time we saw him using Punk Hazard. And it's been like a day. One day. So, like, like what's happening? Like, what, what's going on? What happened in one day where all of a sudden we have Burgess talking about Siryu and Blackbeard talking about Aokiji? Like, maybe Aokiji's being targeted. I don't know. I, I, I don't know, man. Maybe we don't want the Ice Logia powers. Maybe Siryu wants to go frozen. I have no idea what's happening. But here's the point. Well, no, because they said that we can't trust him. So it appears as if like there's some kind of like, alliance or some kind of uh, uh, some kind of connection between these guys, and and I don't know how that works out because Aokiji I think would want to support the Marines from the side, or maybe the re I would either think are the Marines or the the, re the Revolutionary Army. The last people I want the last people I would suspect Aokiji, Aokiji to support are the Blackbeard Pirates. So like I don't know what's happening. I have no idea what's happening. But here's the point. The point is that we have Blackbeard, and his then even his Den Den Mushi's missing teeth. Oh my good lord! <laughs> yeah, but dude, this it was, it was, it was hilarious. But here's the thing: we have Blackbeard, and he's talking to Burgess, and then he's Burgess like, "Wait, Straw Hat's here." He's like, "Straw Hat," or you know how to say it in Japanese, Mugiwara. Yeah, we have Mugiwara, and basically. He's saying how, look, man, unfortunately, Burgess, he's here, and he's taking Ace's powers. It'd be like Ace is actually part of our crew, even though he declined my initial invitation. And then Luffy's like, no, that's never going to happen. And then Burgess starts laughing, and of course, you have Blackbeard laughing, and then Denden Mushi. They're like, yeah, fuck you, you're a rookie. You don't know what you're fucking doing. So, like, like, that's the thing. Like, that to me, I thought was a very nice part. That's number two. Number three, we have the situation with Rebecca. Apparently, after they get some meals, Rebecca takes Luffy over to this section where only the main prison, the main gladiators can go to, the gladiator prisoners. And Luffy doesn't notice. I mean, again, it's for me, it's kind of weird because Luffy should be aware of all things around him with with uh, Ken Boone Sugar Hockey. But apparently, he didn't he wasn't aware of the guys behind him. So apparently, these guys, as he's sitting down, he's eating all the he's eating this food, this uh, bento, this box of food. What happens is that these guys also come behind and start, they start to strangle Luffy. Rebecca brings out a sword, hesitates, then tries to stab Luffy. Luffy, he's, he's able to fend them off and her off in a nice fashion. He like bites that one guy's arm, he takes the other guy, smashes his head down against the, uh, against the floor. Then he dodges Rebecca's slash, jumps on her arms, pins her down, then sit on her. And I'm thinking like, yo Luffy, like that was pretty nasty, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, granted, Rebecca isn't that strong, but you know, way to keep a female in check, Luffy. Way to keep it. <laughs> I mean, he's a lot more forceful than a lot of us can be, than a lot of us can afford to be nowadays. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, 
she tried to stab the die, all right? I think he's allowed to hit a woman at this point in time. And Luffy, he don't give a fuck. He, he, just, he doesn't care. He had no problem hitting kids in Punk Hazard. So you think that he's gonna give a fuck about hitting a woman who tried to stab him? He doesn't care! He's Luffy! Either way, Luffy kept her in check. He just sat on her. He was like, don't worry about it, all right? You gave me, you, you gave me food, everything's cool. It's all cool, all right? I, I won't fuck with you. And apparently we have this thing where so these prisoners, they're there because they went against the they went against the Kyoto family, and they'll be free if they win a hundred if they win a thousand matches. But apparently that's very hard to do, and a lot of them haven't even exceeded over a hundred. And we have guys there like they're bloodied up, they're all bandaged up, they're missing limbs. And Rebecca apparently is one of these people, and she's doing this not only to try and get her friends free or have a sliver of hope, but also. The toy soldier guy, apparently he used to be one of them before he turned to a toy, and that's why he's probably missing a leg. His leg probably got cut off, because he was one of these soldiers. And the thing about it is that, I mean, maybe he's the legendary guy. Because remember about the gladiator who won like all these matches, then he disappeared suddenly? He could be him. He could be him. Maybe he actually won those thousand matches, but instead of being freed, he, well, he got free, but he got freed as a toy. So he got screwed. I mean, that's my thoughts about that right there. But Rebecca's doing that also for him as well. And she feels really bad. But it, it's just that she wants to protect him. But here's my point. Like, my point is that it's looking like Rebecca's going to join the crew. I mean, like, like, that, that, that's the way it seems to be. That's the way it just, honest to God, seems to be. All right? Because there's, like, this connection with, like, Luffy now. And Luffy feels sorry for her. I mean, I think he does, to be honest. And plus, he fed, she fed him. Which, in Luffy's eyes, is a huge fucking deal. So, I wouldn't be surprised at all if she joins the crew. So, that's number three right there. And number four, the last part. Bartolomeo, okay? Hey, listen, he's not Sabo. I, we, it's confirmed, he's not Sabo. Apparently, he was this mafia guy. And he had like 150 towns under his control. But, apparently, he was in Logtown. And... He saw what happened with Luffy and uh, Buggy and the Lightning, and he was inspired to such a, a great degree, where he continued to follow the Strat crew and Luffy Senpai, like, like literally Luffy Senpai. And and then so what 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 when, what because like he says that to one of the guys who's walking away, and because like this guy was talking smack about Ace and Luffy and how Luffy failed, and. He called, and then when, when when he first says, don't insult Straw Hat Senpai, I'm thinking, Senpai? The hell do you mean, Senpai? What is he, your master? Your teacher? Like, when the hell did this occur? And then apparently we get the backstory, and then how he, again, he was this um, uh, mafia guy who had 150 talents under his control, and he was so inspired by Luffy, he followed him out, he followed his, uh, via news, he followed him, uh, and his lobby, Alabasta, Marine Ford, and he was so inspired that he went out to sea. And apparently, like, one year later, he became a supernova. So, that's the way it works out with, uh... And apparently, he has a gag. He gets all choked up when he... And he, he can't confront Luffy. I'm sitting here, I'm like, since when? But uh, then again, it is one piece, so I'm not... I'm not that surprised, but still, it caught me off guard. I'm like, dude, like, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? You can't confront Luffy. Go talk to the man. Shake his hand. Be like, what's up, brother? How's that? How's everything going? But he's like, oh my god. Luffy said my hand. Like, I'm like, wait, wait, what do you mean? Don't oh, no. Why? Shit. It, 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 it just threw me off because when you see him at first, he's a dick. He's peeing from all these chicks. He's a scumbag. He's dirty as fuck. His barrier is the whole, you know, crossing, like, you know, um, it's like a liar, like, like, Telling the truth, but you do your cross fingers and you're telling you're telling a lie. That thing right there. So like his whole character scheme so far has been scumbag, dickish, and all of a sudden Luffy admiration and he just quivers like he just hide like you know how Chopper does that thing where he hides like he used to hide or yeah you know he still does it I think where he hides behind, where he hides behind like a wall or an object he's doing that and it's like what the fuck is that like bro man up. Go over there, shake the man's hand, let's go! What the fuck? So, I mean, that's Bartolomeo right there for you. So, the chapter overall, okay? I mean, I don't think I forgot anything. I don't think so. But but the chapter overall. If I did forget anything, then let me know in the comment section down below. 
I think I think it was a good chapter. A lot of talking, a lot of exposition, but there was prog there was progression of the story. A lot of things being revealed here and there, especially Bartolomeo not being Sabo, but in fact being Bartolomeo. And I mean, I, I know a lot of people are probably very disappointed because they thought that he was Sabo. And Blackbeard, I mean, just Blackbeard, he makes my day. He makes my day. He does. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. He makes my day. I can't deny that. So, the chapter in overall, I'm going to give it a rating of, uh, you know, I thought it was a good chapter. Yeah, I thought it was a good chapter. So, I'm done. King of Lightning. Be sure, of course, rate, comment, and subscribe as always. Peace. Have a nice day.